Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to create an account on oxfordlearn.com in order to practice exercises of reading, listening, speaking and writing online from English file book. So in order to create an account first you need to buy the book because if you don't buy the book the original book you will not have the code to register once you have bought the book you have to go to internet web page you can choose google chrome or firefox up to you okay so in this example I would use Google Chrome and you have to type in www.oxfordlearn.com enter okay you will see this page this page required you to sign in to Oxford Learn but because you do not have an account yet you cannot sign in so to have an account you need to click register here to create an account so click register here okay so this page they ask you to complete your detailed information in order to create an account okay so you have to type in your full name so for example my full name is my email is Okay, this is my email. Uh, for this one, you need to use an email address. So you can use Yahoo email address, or Google or Gmail address, or hotline Gmail or hotline address email address. But the easiest one is Gmail. If you don't know how to create a Gmail account, you can look at, at my other video that I I posted about how to create a Gmail account. You can check that out to see how to create a Gmail account. Once you have the Gmail account, you type it in here, and then this is the password. This password you can use your Gmail password when you create a gmail account or you can just create a new password but if you don't want to confuse yourself you can use the same password from the gmail account it's up to you and for password it's important that you have to include big letter or uppercase and then lowercase or small letter and then number Okay, for example, let me show you. For example, um, I want to use this password. So this is my name. You can use any name or anything you like. But for example, if I use my name, if I type like this, all of these are lowercase or small letters. You have to make sure that you include big letter you can use with a start or anywhere you like for example as I start with big letter or uppercase or you can just start somewhere with uppercase like H here up to you but you need to include one uppercase or big letter 
and then you need to include number. For example, I include, include one, two, three. You can include as many as you want, like five or six number or one or two, up to you. But you need to include big letter, small letters, and number. Why do do you have to include big number, small letter, big letter, small letter, and numbers like this? Because if you use this password, it's strong. It's very strong. So no one can hack your account easily. And also, when you type it in, they will tell you if your password is strong or not. For example, I, I try with small first. You see? When I start with small letter only, no number, it, it is say, it's a normal and it is red. You can see they say, please enter up, uppercase, it means big letter. We also we already type in lowercase small num for small letters, so they recommend us to include big letters. But now I include big letter. Okay. I haven't included number yet. I haven't included number yet. But now they change to medium. So if I include number at the end, they would change to green. They say very strong. This is the password that you want. Okay, next. To confirm the password, it means you type that password again. <clears throat> so you can just copy from here and put it down here, but it's not a good way because sometimes the password you, that you type here is not right. It means sometimes you, you type the wrong word. So if you type you copy this and paste it here. Sometimes when you log in after you register this account, you log in, you may type the wrong password. Because what you think is right that you type may be wrong because you're not sure when you type the keyboard, sometimes you make mistake. So it's best if you type it again, do not copy. So type that again. If you make mistake with this or make mistake with the first one, they will say these two is mismatch when you click create my account. So which means you can type it again if you make mistake. But if you copy, these two will, will match because you copy. So it's best to type it again. Now let's move to country. You need to select the country that you're from. For example, I'm from Cambodia. Click Cambodia. And because time zone, we just leave it there because it's a Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. I'm from Phnom Penh, so I leave it here. I just leave it there, don't change anything. And move on to security question. This one, the question, they ask you one question so that you need to remember it. And sometimes in the future you may forget your password. So they may ask you to res you may want to reset the password, and they may need to ask you the security question. So you need to remember this question. Choose one question that is comfortable to you to remember. And if you think you cannot remember it, you need to take note. Write somewhere. In your phone, take note in your phone or somewhere that you think you can keep it for f for future use. So choose any question that you think you can remember it easily for a long time. For example, this question I would remember it for a long time. I would choose this question: What was your first pet call? You can use what color is your car? Up to you. So for example, my my pet my dog his name is Lulu I type in Lulu this one small or big letter it's it's fine no problem you don't have to worry and now let's move to the next one is terms and conditions so you need to agree with the terms of 
this website so that they will allow you to create an account okay so what you have to do is to tick only the first one do not tick these two this one they say I am 13 years old or under you're not 13 or under you're at least 15 or 16 years old so you don't have to tick this and this one only if like there are new inf there is new information about the website something new they would send you the updated to you to your gmail account here and usually it's annoying very annoying because this may send a lot of like it seem it's in the form of advertisement so you don't have to take this just take the first one only after you take that now you need to click create my account okay you see this page you say thank you it means you're done you you now successfully created an account okay so what do you have to do next and what they show you here because they want you to remember this page you can take a screenshot of this page or take note somewhere it's up to you and what you have to do next is click continue okay this is where you need the code of the book that's why you need to buy the original book so there are three um, things that you have to, to see here and we have access content join a class or organization register an organization so these two you don't have to care this one you join a class only if your teacher create an account and want you and other students to join the class and this one only if you are the teacher you want to create an account you do, you would do this one but for you for, for you as students you have to continue with the first one access content click continue okay this is where you have to type in your code for the code you will see in the cover page when you open your book the cover page you will see the number so you will hear you will see um, the black shade shaded place in the cover page open that black sheet and you will see the code you type in the code and you click I accept the term and condition and make sure you type exactly the same for example if the number is like this you type like this is not right you need to type in the dash as well something like this it means you type you have to type exactly what you see in the cover page of your your student book after you type in you take this you click continue and you will successfully edit a book to your account and then after that you can start practicing exercises about reading listening speaking and writing online and you can use it for one year and a half so it's a long time and don't waste the time after you activate it by using this number again like I said you have only one year and a half so you need to practice it as soon as possible because after one year and a half it will be expired you cannot use it again okay thank you for watching guys have a good day